Hey Tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying this purple rabbit strip matuka. It's sort of a generic pattern, but you'll be able to switch up the colors on this, no problem. It's a fairly straightforward and simple fly. Uh, the difficult part is just lashing the wing down to the body, and we'll take you through the steps of that. So let's have a look at the materials and get started. Alright, let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a one aught Superfly steelhead salmon hook. And I'm using a six aught black uni thread. Start by tying on just behind the eye. So, first, I'm going to tie in a piece of black wire. You can use a silver or any other color you like. Just bend back the tag, make sure that gets tied in. And we're just going to wind down to the hook point. And we'll put that aside. I'm going to use some purple laser dubbing. I'm going to make this a two tone fly. I'll put purple on the back and then uh, black up front. So we'll just put a dubbing noodle on there. And I'm just going to taper this towards the center of the fly. And add a little bit more dubbing just to beef that up. I'm going to brush this out after, so really pull out some of these fibers to give it a nice finished look. A little bit more. Alright, so let's throw on some black laser dub. going to taper this up towards the head. We want to make sure that we leave a little bit of room so we can tie in our collar and our rabbit strip up here. Just want to kind of have like a bit of a cigar shaped taper to this. That looks pretty good. So next we're going to take a purple zonker strip. If you want, you can take your scissors and just pull out a couple of the hairs in the front. And we'll tie down right at that point. Want to make sure that you have that fairly secure in there. And I'm just going to pull that back. Helps if you have a bodkin here. So we just want to kind of come in here and kind of pull all the hair out of the way. Create a nice flat tie in point. So we're going to take our wire, I'm just going to wrap it through that point. You want to just make sure that you have that positioned on top of the hook. And we're just going to come through and wind. And every time the wire is going to pass over the zonker, we're just going to 
separate that hair out. Just want to make sure that you position that right up on top again. And we're just going to do that till we get to the head of the fly. It's so basically the same principle that you use when you're tying a feather wing matuka, except in this instance we're using a rabbit strip. We'll just tie that off at the head. Fold that wire back to lock it in place. Helicopter it off. Then we're just going to come back here and I'm going to trim the tail. I like to do it at a 45. Chevron on each side. And if you need to reposition the wing, this is the time to do it. I'm just going to come in here with a brush and just give that a little bit of roughing up. And as you fish that, that'll get even nicer looking. All right. So last thing I'm going to use is a purple schlappen feather. Just going to pull all the fibers back, create a tie in point here. Couple wraps, pull the tip back, lock it in place. We're going to come in and Put our scissors on the top edge just to push those fibers down. And then we're going to palmer this by pulling back all the fibers at once so that the ones that are on the inside lay down and the ones on the outside make a nice kind of a concave collar on there. Then we'll tie this off right at the eye. Couple wraps, pull the feather forward to lock it in place. That whip finish. There you go. Purple steelhead Matuka. Thanks for stopping by my fly time channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.